Hi guys, this is Latina, your community advocate. Happy New Year. I know I took out the braids, so I got a fresh trim and all that good stuff. But I, um, I've been strolling through my news feed on Twitter and I see that there's a lot of comments about Congressman George Santos regarding, you know, his um, past and the fact that he lied to a lot of voters. So I don't condone his actions. I totally don't think that what he did was right. However, I think that we need to hold both parties accountable. This shuffle between the Republicans and the Democrats and the social, it's just, it's getting ridiculous now. So this is how I see it. If we're going to hold Congressman George Santos accountable, then we need to hold Senator Julia Salazar accountable as well for lying to the people so she can get elected into office. And she's a socialist. I don't consider her a Democrat. I don't consider none of these socialists and progressive Democrats. You guys are not Democrats. You need to get your own party line. But my point is this, hold both accountable. If you're going to ask him to resign, she needs to resign too, because she's been lying to the people for quite some time and her own family called her out. So we want to talk about transparency. Well, then we need to um, hold elected officials accountable for lying to, to voters to just to get elected into office. And I know that many of you electeds think that you guys are celebrities. Let me make one thing clear. You are not celebrities. You are public servants. You are here to serve the people. You are paid through our tax dollars to serve. So if I say to you, there's trash in our community and this stuff needs to be cleaned up. You need to clean it up and get on your job. You need to start making these phone calls. And New Yorkers, stop idolizing politicians as if they're celebrities. They are here to take care of our respective districts, serve the people. You pay, you're paying them. You're paying them. And stop, don't let them dictate and tell you that, you know, they can do and, and say whatever they can and pretty much get away whatever it is that they're doing to disrespect not just you, but your district. So just keep that in mind. Do not idolize these people. And I think, I strongly think that there needs to be open primaries because you know what? This one party rule is not cutting it for our community. I'm tired of seeing, you know, our people poor, poor, no generational wealth, no how, no home ownership opportunities, uh, you create these workshops, it's like you're recycling families from within the black and brown community to continue going into these workshops when it doesn't really benefit them because you guys are collecting money off of them. You, you guys like chaos. Politicians, these progressives and socialists, you want chaos. I haven't seen not one elected official leave with a legacy. I can't say that this elected official did something great to benefit the black and brown community. These methadone clinics that you're throwing into our communities, we don't want it. We don't want it. Help them get off of drugs, get them clean, get them, you know, acclimated into society again. I'm tired of, you know, children waking up every day, heading out to school and seeing, you know, a person that's strung out on drugs with a needle in his arm in front of their building or in front of their schools or on the train. You have mentally ill, fresh out the hospital, roaming the streets, roaming our public uh, transportation systems. So you just help me understand this. This this thing with, you know, you guys wanting chaos, who does it really benefit? The community or does it benefit the politicians pockets because it's benefiting your pockets and that's why you guys don't like me because you don't like what i have to say and i'm just spit, spitting facts so it's up to the new yorkers to decide if you want to continue to live like this by all means live live in it but don't complain about it keep voting for them and this is what you get